a quick look at the Supermicro Super Server SYS-E200-8D system. This is a six core system. You can see the memory dims just barely clear this metal plate here, the inner metal plate. When we take that off, we can see the cooling. Yes, there's a passive CPU heatsink that works all right, uh, but it keeps the RPM fans pretty high. So suggestions would be, uh, well, you may have seen in another video of mine, when you add SATA and you add a hard drive to the underside here, your clearance is minimal, meaning your 2.5 inch drive can just barely fit there. So um, it'd be interesting if someone really wants to cool that and keep the RPMs going lower in the same chassis. This heat sink that arrives with the Xeon D 1567, which is a, let's get the focus on there, which is a uh, 12 core system would be a better bet. Without the fan on top, because that wouldn't fit, but just the uh, heat sink called the SNK-C0092A4L. So that'd be kind of one hack for the, or squeak for the enthusiast who really wants to get uh, a little better sound profile for this system, meaning lower RPM fans. The other would be the marketing pictures all show three fans, but they only ship you two. Now that could be because once you jam the SSD in there, the 2.5 inch, this gets really tight and it's basically touching this fan. And over here we'd have some airflow blocks. Um, another bit of advice though, if you're just going to use the system as is, I would say if your wire here, the harness that goes to the front bezel, is on top, uh, it could do better. Let me explain. Um, it's pretty bit of airflow blocks. So when we get the lid on, you're blocking the top section of the fan there. So what if you do this? Just pull the fan header off. And you can use either this one or that one. Doesn't really matter. You get the same RPMs out of both. Okay, slide that underneath. And actually, just get the whole ribbon tucked down like that. So since I don't have a third fan. Now if you're going to do a third fan, um, well, you're not going to have that luxury. You're going to have to, well, you might be able to jam the ribbon like that. All right, so now that that's done, you can put this back in place. And you'll notice now that the fans have minimal obstruction. If I tilt it like this, you'll see the motherboard is blocking the bottom edge of the fan blades anyway. But no longer do we have a segment of airflow blocked along the top. So that's it. Just a little bit of minor rerouting uh, advice there if you own one of these systems. All right. Um, I'm going to have to give this uh, loaner machine back very soon from the eval unit. But it's the same as any factory dis delivered system. And uh, I might consider stealing a fan from another unit, putting it in the third bay, and seeing what that does to the IPMI controlled fan speeds when doing, say, a, a benchmark or a Prime 95 or video render job. So that could be an interesting little test. But uh, for now, that's it for this video. Just a um, quick bit of fan and cooling tips on this six core Xeon D system. Thanks for watching and for visiting Tinkertry.com.